Does your site take too long to load? Are you having page load speed problems? Hi, this is Matt Garrett, and in this quick demo, I'll show you how WP Profiler can help you identify and fix your site load speed problems and get super fast page load speeds. Now, one quick note before we start, when you run a speed test, you need to make sure that you're not logged into the WordPress site that you're running the test for, as this will give you false results. The easiest way to make sure this doesn't happen is to do what I'm doing here and use a different browser for the speed test than the one that you're logged into your WordPress site on. So I'm using using Firefox here where I'm logged into my site and then I'm going to pop across to my Chrome browser where I'm going to run the speed test for this particular site. And all you need to do is pop the URL for the site that you want to test in the URL field and click on the start test field. Now we're using Pingdom to do this test because we found that Pingdom gives the most accurate results for WordPress site speed tests and it does only take a few seconds to run. And once it's finished, we just scroll down the page a bit so we can see our full results. And as you can see, we've got a total load time of just under five seconds. So it's not horrendous, but it certainly could do with being quicker. Surveys have been done that show that a load speed of more than three seconds can easily end up with you losing around half your visitors before they even get to engage with your site. So we really want to cut that time down as much as we can. So let's pop back to WP Profiler and run through how this can speed up our site. Now the site speed profiler itself is the fun part. It's the graphical representation of what slowing your site down. However, we're going to save that to last. I'm going to tease you along and we're going to go through the more boring standard bits first. They're very, very quick. The first is we need to optimize the database. Basically, over time, your WordPress databases get bloated and messy and they need tidying up. It's a very quick and easy process. However, for instance, here we can see that there are problems found. All we need to do is click on the button to perform the database optimization and click on OK. Now, this kind of thing happens more and more as your site gets bigger and older and there's more content. So all you need to do is pop into here now and then to see if there are any problems found, click on the button and let WP Profiler run to complete the optimization for you. It is a very, very quick process. As you can see, there we go. We are done with the database optimization. So that's the first step of keeping our site nice and healthy done, and it took just moments. The next is specifically for speed, and we're going to look at optimizing the images that we've got uploaded to our site. Large, unoptimized images is one of the biggest and most common speed problems on websites, and it's something that can be solved automatically with WP Profiler. Simply click on the developer dashboard link down the bottom here. This will take you to TinyPNG, where you can register register for your free API key. This gives you up to 500 image optimizations per month. And if you need more, there are paid options available, but the free version will give you 500, which is more than enough for most people's needs. Once you've got your API key, pop it in here and activate the image optimization. After you've done so, any new images you add to your blog from here on will be optimized automatically for you when you upload them. However, that doesn't deal with any existing images already on your site. So that's what the bulk optimize images option is for so let's look at that next now this simply lets you go through and optimize all your old images in batches and I'm just going to run a batch of 10 so that you can see that it is pretty quick to run it doesn't take hours to run through so the 10 should take us around 10 to 15 seconds you can see it's processing the images now and it's still working we're almost there I should have stuck a timer on to time how long it's going to take uh, there we go almost finished and done. Now that was around 15 seconds, I think. It takes roughly a second to a second and a half per image. So you can see how long it's going to take to run through all your existing images. In my case, I've got 225 unoptimized images. So that's going to take around three to four minutes to run through and bulk optimize all those existing images. So I'm going to pause the video while I quickly do that. Okay, so as you can see, I finished optimizing the images on this site and we've got an improvement of over 34%. Now this particular site isn't image heavy. It doesn't have a lot of images to start with. And they're not very big. Usually on client sites, we find much larger images and the optimization savings can be significant, usually in the range of 70 to 80% or more. Okay, so that's our images taken care of. Let's head back to the site speed profiler itself and run this so you can see what might be slowing our site down. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on start profiling and confirm that I want it to run. Now this is the core of WP Profiler and it takes just moments to run. So I'm gonna click on okay and let it finish doing its 
business. And once the pages are refreshed, you'll end up on this results page where you can see exactly what's going on. Now, this is the core of WP Profiler, and it gives us a graphical view of how long each aspect of our site takes to load up, from the core WordPress files, to the theme, to all the individual plugins, which is where it gets interesting. Being able to identify exactly which plugin is hogging all your site resources and killing your page load speed with WP Profiler takes just moments as you saw. To do it manually, you'd need to go through each plugin deactivating and reactivating them one by one to work out which plugin or indeed plugins, it could be more than one, is at fault. With WP Profiler, you can see straight away. And in this case, the big culprit is looking like WordFence Security and iTheme Security Pro. Now WordFence and iTheme Security Pro are both security plugins and obviously we want to keep our blog secure. However, there is another plugin which will do the same for me and it loads a lot quicker. So I could then remove both of these plugins, saving a second of load speed, cutting the plugin load speed by half, which will have a pretty massive effect on the page load speeds I get for my site. Now you will notice that WP Profiler is appearing third on that speed list. That's because it is having to run and use resources to create this profile itself as the page loads up. That obviously doesn't happen when normal people, visitors are hitting your site, so it doesn't actually impact your site speed. Now let's pop over to another site and have a look at another profile that I've run. And again, you can see that although there are quite a lot of plugins on this site, and yes, they will have a cumulative effect on the load speed from running too many plugins, it's again one or two speed hogs right at the top here that are causing the majority of the problem. In this case, it's all-in-one SEO, one of the standard SEO plugins that a lot of people use. There's also the Schema plugin, and again, iTheme Security Pro. I could switch all three of these off, and again, get a reduction in my site load speed by almost a second. Now, obviously, if I'm replacing all-in-one SEO and Schema, I'm gonna want some sort of SEO plugin on my blog. Uh, we would recommend Rank Math, because it's quicker and will do everything that both of those do and more. And this is part of the power of WP Profiler. It takes just moments to see which plugins are causing your site a problem, which ones are taking the speed out of your page loads and slowing everything down. And then you can look for replacements that are both quicker and usually do the job better as well. Okay, so now let's head back to Pingdom. This was our earlier test where we got a load speed of 4.48 seconds. Now let's just open up a new version of Pingdom pop our domain in there again and click on start test. Now again, this is gonna take a few seconds. I'll pause the video and come back as soon as the test has completed. And as you can see, our site performance grade has now gone up to A with a score of 92, and our load time has gone down to 1.46 seconds. That's three seconds faster than previously and well under the three second golden threshold. We're gonna be keeping our visitors on our site without losing them. And this is all thanks to being able to tweak and fix our site really, really quickly with WP Profiler. And remember, Google take both your site load speed and visitor bounce rate into account for ranking. If your site is slow to load and people are heading back to Google, you're not only losing those visitors, you're gonna get penalized by Google and take a ranking hit, losing even more free traffic. Don't let your site lag behind. Get your health check done today with WP Profiler.